Welcome back to another instalment of So I Bought a Peugeot 205 Diesel. I'm uh, concentrating a bit on the silver car that I purchased, as you saw in the last episode. So let's have a little um, look at this car here. So we've got it recovered from St Allstall to Plymouth today. And that cost me £100 to do, which I think was quite reasonable considering the fuel costs at the moment. And, uh, you know, it's uh, quite expensive to, to move cars. But um, so I made a little sort of deep dive into the car itself. I'm going to, have to start getting it MOT ready because I've booked it in for an MOT uh, on the 23rd of November, I think, which I think is a Thursday, um, locally in a garage just around the corner. Because the reason why I do this is because the brakes are shot on this car. Um, you know, it's only the brake power is absolutely tiny on this. So, my first mission today was finding a set of wheels for this because all four of the tyres have perished on the car and uh, they're, they're all cracked up and. Uh, it's a shame because the tread was actually actually brilliant on the tyres themselves, but uh, yeah. So the the alloys that I've got with the car itself, they don't seem suitable for this, and the previous owner said that they need spacers to be able to uh, be compatible with a Peugeot fitment. I did have one fitted to the front of the car, and sure enough, it is making a sort of crunching sound. Don't know whether that is because it would need a spacer, or whether it is um, that the wheel lugs aren't correct. It needs to be like the sort of the flat washer type ones rather than the tapered ones. Anyway. So I found a set of uh, wheels and tyres at a local scrapyard, which is RPB, which is in Plymouth, and it uh, cost me a hundred quid for, for you know, really actually great condition tyres. I have no problems with these getting through the MOT now, and it also gave me the opportunity to have a little drive round in the car just up and down the road, which the turbo pulls up to you, um, like a train, I think as they say, as they say. Um, and uh, yeah, I did lose the brake, so I had to apply the handbrake, which thankfully did stop me before careering down the road. It's quite a steep hill we live on. Uh, found a couple of other issues with the car. I changed the wiper blades on it. Uh, again, something to tick off the MOT list. Uh, but I did find that the rear wiper motor was playing up a little bit. So you have to sort of grease it up. Managed to get it uh, freed up and it is going again now. Um, turns out I did actually need tightening on the, the nuts. It was slipping on the nut. Uh, the wiper blade itself, uh, wiper arm, and uh, that was the reason why it wasn't uh, doing what it should do. So, nice easy fix with that. So, the wipers are off the list, which is good. Um, have a look at the door handles. Uh, they seem to, when you pull up the door handle, they just stay in position. And I did put some sort of PTFE um, spray in there. It's not, uh, you know, it's not helping. So, what I'm going to have to do is take the door card off and uh, have a little look and see what's going on there maybe get some like white grease or something just in um the actual mechanism itself to to free it up but um yeah once the the door handle's pushed manually down again it does shut the door so that's sort of okay um can work around that i found the central locking uh for some reason will unlock the car but won't lock it um from the driver's side which is a bit irritating so I'm going to have to have a little look at that. I think it might be the motor on the driver's side that's perhaps gone and I'll have to change that. Um, other than that, um, yeah, not really much else I can tell you today. Some odd um, like rust marks on the body on the on the roof, which I don't actually think it's the roof rusty. I think someone's had like maybe a rusty tool or something on the, the top, which has caused that. Um, paint mark is far more shot than I thought as well, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, these are all superficial things. So next step is getting it in for the MOT and um, hopefully we can get a road legal 205 out of this ready for the engine change, which will be at the end of the month. So that's another episode and I'll speak to you next time and let you know my progress. Goodbye.